Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I want to go over the best team of 2022. Now I've done this the past like three years or so. I like to identify what I think the best team of the year is. And um, so in like 2019, I think I started this. And I think I went, went with the uh, Skeleton Key Gold Farming Team. So we can take a look at that real quick. I just want to go over the history first, and then we'll go over the team that I think is the best of 2022. Um, we had the Skeleton Key Team in 2019. Best team in the game, really good gold farming team. This was before, like, vault events got so crazy to where you really didn't need to gold farm anymore. But, um, yeah, best team right here, 2019. 2020, the best team in the game. I don't know if I could show it because I don't think I have it like loaded in anywhere because I just I don't need to I, I know how to make it quickly but um we'll go to the troop list to go over this one and um who I'll just say it I, I it was the truffle shuffle so the gob truffle team the forest troll gob truffle gob truffle doomed glaive um I put that as the best team of 2020. Just super awesome, loopy team. I think it was before it got nerfed and everything. And it's still really awesome even after the nerf. Same with the Skeleton Key team. It got nerfed as well. If something gets nerfed, that probably means that it was really, really good at some point, right? So Gold Farming Team was 2019. Um, Truffle Shuffle, Forest Troll, Gob Truffle, Gob Truffle, Doomed Glaive was the best team of 2020 in my opinion. And then 2021... I had to give flowers to the Mother of Darkness team here. Super loopy team, really good for PvP. Um, Rope Dart, Night Spider, Mother of Darkness, Captain McCall, Corsair Class, Double Green, Purple, Minus Red. I'll even show you the team code since it was just last year. And yeah, that was the best team of 2021. So now we're going to move on to 2022. What do you think it is? Put it in the comments. What's the best team of 2022? Um... What do you think should deserve an honorable mention? What do you think of my previous choices? Let me know what you think. Uh, first, I want to give like uh, honorable mentions here for troops that kind of came out this year. This not That's not how I really do this. I, I want to give a team its flowers that I haven't given it its flowers yet as one of the best teams in the game. So maybe it didn't exactly come out this year, but maybe it came to prominence this year. You know what I mean? So just because the troop didn't come out this year doesn't mean it isn't in contention for the best team of the year it comes to prominence this year we use it a bunch this year it's the best team in the game of 2022 that's how i do these but um some things to give their uh honorable mention here a to z let's go down um and this may be hey 2023 or some other list that i would do for um for these troops here uh, Calcedani, the Calcedani team, I think, deserves a mention. And you might have thought this was the best team of 2022, maybe. But, um, Calcedani, Calcedani, Watchful Blade, and Chernabog, I think, deserves an honorable mention for 2022. And maybe it'll be the best team of 2023 or something. But it is not the best team of 2022, in my opinion. Um, who else deserves, like, an honorable mention for coming out in 2022? I think, um... I think this troop came out in 2022. We haven't had like a ton of like awesome troops. And maybe the team that I am mentioning did come out in 2022. I just can't remember exactly. And I just wanted to put that out there as like a disclaimer that if it didn't, it wasn't like super long ago. And it was like the end of 2021, if anything. So, um, let's see here. The Wild King, he's pretty good. He came out in 2022 for sure. And, um, you know, maybe deserves an honorable mention. I don't think he deserves the best team of 2022 at all, but maybe an honorable mention for coming out recently. Uh, just things I could think of recently. Chalcedony, the Wild King, came out recently. Um, so, let's get to it. What's the best team of 2022, in my opinion? Let's go run it. Right, we got difficulty one, explore. We have... Is it the Psycho Missy? Do I think that's the best team of the year? No, I think it's uh, the double Ironhawk team. So Dust Devil, Ironhawk, Ironhawk, Greed. So this is the best team of 2022. Even if Ironhawk didn't come out in 2022, which I don't think it did. I think it was 2021. Um, it came to prominence this year. We had so many vault events this year. And, you know, Noma Palooza, uh, Pity Keys. They're running extra vault events a lot of the time. So definitely 
I think should deserve the best team of 2022 since it, I don't think it came out like early in 2021. I think it was late 2021. I'm not a hundred percent. Let me know in the comments when Ironhawk came out and when this team came, came, you know, for the first time that when's the first time you saw this team, what year, but, um, I think for 2022, this was like the most used, um, you know, best team of the year gave you the most benefit from using it all year. You know what I mean? So let's show the team code. Here's the team code. You can also use Sister Superior, but as I explained on a live stream recently, um, Sister Superior you would use if you're like a specific person, a very high level person that doesn't need any gold. Greed uh, is slightly worse than Sister, Sister Superior because he explodes a brown gem at the start of battle. So occasionally he'll take like a millisecond longer than a Sister Superior because he might explode a brown gem. It might cause a cascade. So one out of like 100 battles, he'll be slightly slower than Sister Superior. But you also get extra gold every single battle for running a greed. So just because you see somebody else using Sister Superior doesn't mean that you should use Sister Superior. I think most people should use greed, get that little bit of extra gold while you're farming, because um, it's just a millisecond slower every 100 battles or so. 99 out of 100, it's going to be exactly the same as Sister Superior. So just because you see somebody else doing something doesn't mean that you should. Um, let's go to battle and show it a couple times. This isn't going to be a very long video because this team, everybody knows about it. Look at that. I got a curse now. Sweet. All right. Come on, like 15. Ah, 11. Poopy. But yeah, this is it. Uh, reason it's good, um, it's third trait, artillery support. So you can um, do this all day. Just kill everything in one shot. Even that battle crasher there went down. So I'll explain the mechanics of it in a moment. Let's just show it in action a few times here, maybe like five battles. And then we will explain why it works like this and how to get everything on it. But fastest team in the game, literally. This is the fastest team in the game. Um, it never has trouble getting up. Um, it just never, the enemy never gets a turn. Every once in a while, like right there, of course it had to do it in this video. I was I'm telling you guys, I have the worst video luck. Um, ever so often that will happen. Which, you just have to get something up and you kill it. And that's another like one out of a hundred thing that could happen. You'll get something that uh, has a little bit of extra... Wow, we got a Mimic now. Okay, we're not going to fight that one. But, um... Yeah, so Dust Devil, Drifting Sands. So 10 brown, yellow, Drifting Sands, Elemental. It deals damage, 5 damage to all enemies and knock the first enemy to last position. So that's 5 damage to all enemies right off the bat, right? It starts empowered. You have to have this fully traded. So get those uh, brown, yellow trait stones. Um, Drifting Sands, so it's just a rare troop. You should just get it as you're randomly opening keys very early in the game. But if you happen to not do that, then look out for a Drifting Sands week. Throw a couple event keys. You should get the Dust Devil. Um, it could also be in Summoning Stones, in like a brown or a yellow Summoning Stone in the Soul Forge if you're really desperate to try to find it. Um, Ironhawk is a mythic, so 25 blue, brown, yellow, Adana Construct Mech. Um, how you're gonna get this one? Well, first, let's go over the spell. It creates 12 Doom Skulls and explodes 22 gems. That's not why we use it. Uh, we use it because of artillery support. Deal 5 damage to all enemies when an ally casts a spell. You see how this damage is gonna keep adding up and adding up? So that's already 10 damage. We got another one here, so that's 15 damage. And then we got Greed, who will cast at the start of battle and get an extra turn. So he's an empowered troop. That gets an extra turn. Gain gold equal to my life. Gain 46 life. Gain an extra turn. So there's that gold you're going to get right there. So whatever his life is at, you're going to get that much extra gold on top of uh, like a sister superior. Um, but he starts empowered, and then you cast him. He gains an extra turn, so it's still your turn. And when you cast him, he does um, the artillery support damage. So he does 10 damage. So count greed as 10 damage, I guess. Um, and then when you cast the dust devil, you do another 10 damage. Then you have the Dust Devil damage. So, all together, it's 25 damage. You cast the Greed, it does 10. You cast the Dust Devil, it does 15. 5 from the Dust Devil, 10 from the two Iron Hawks. So, 25 damage in, before the enemy can even move. And, they're all, and they all fall down. Um, difficulty, 
Uh, one Explorer, just to make sure you clear quickly. It's for Vault events. It's not for anything else. But that's so important these days because you do not need a gold farming team. You do not need a soul farming team. Do you want gems? Do you want diamonds? Do you want orbs? Do you want tarot cards? Do you, you know, you want Zulgoth? Like, this is what you use. So, double Ironhawk is the best. Triple Ironhawk, not good. One Ironhawk, not good. You might as well use Rowan or Moon Mage or something if you have one Ironhawk. Do not recommend one Ironhawk. It's clunky. It doesn't work very good. It's not, you might as well use Rowan or Dust, or um, Moon Mage and like level a class up instead. But yeah, that's my, um, you know, best team of 2022. We got the Dust Devil, Ironhawk, Ironhawk Greed. And let me know in the comments what you think. Any other team that you could mention is probably not going to get you as many resources as this team. The only argument I could hear would be that this troop didn't come out this year. And I don't even know if that's true. Um, Chalcedon is awesome and everything, but she is never going to get you as many resources as an Ironhawk. Um, it is a double mythic team, but every single person in the game should work towards this one. There's other double mythic teams that nobody, you know, only some people are going to have eventually. This is one that every single person in the game should get, and I don't think anybody disagrees with that. This team, every single person in the game should get this team at some point and be working towards this team. And this team is the best farming team in the entire game, hands down. And this team came to prominence in 2022. So I'm calling this team the best team of 2022. Anyways, I'll be doing more of these uh, guide and list videos. We're coming to the end of 2022, so stay tuned. Maybe hit that bell. I never say that, but that'll alert you to whenever I post a video. And when I go live and stuff, hit the bell. It do you don't have to be notified for every single video. You can like click a... There's a different um, setting you can click just in case. I don't know. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. Now watch out for like the flood of best of 2022 videos coming out because you know how they do. Peace.